Hey, Mark Meldrum, Northern Hospital Club, and we're out here at Eastwood Automotive in Parma. Automotive Supplies, they got some good paint that I wanted to get today. So uh, we stopped out at their shop since I'm on vacation, and we'll get back to the shop and apply some of the paint that I bought. Uh, Eastwood is a sponsor of the Northern Ohio Chevelle Club, and I even saw our picture right behind the cast register. So that was pretty cool. See ya! Hey, we're back in the shop and uh, back from uh, Eastwood Company, and what I went out there to get was some uh, zinc phosphate paint from Eastwood. Eastwood's about the only one that sells this zinc phosphate paint. Now, I know you can take your parts, strip them down, and dip them in a zinc phosphate uh, bath and get the same coating. But uh, for me, just an easier way to go for parts like this uh, uh, hood hinge, latch. You can see the original uh, zinc phosphate coating on the back. There's a pulley on the engine that was uh, zinc phosphate coated and I painted it gray right now and I'll I'll shoot another uh, coat of paint on it with this zinc phosphate paint and also they're good for uh, hood hinges so I already painted the hood hinges gray so shouldn't take much of a coat to get these things you know back to uh, their natural look now are you gonna pass the judges at MCACN no because that's not the way they came originally they were uh, basically dipped in a zinc phosphate bath at the factory. But over the years, that's not gonna hold up as well as a coat of paint. And for my purposes of having the car look original and maybe taken to a few car shows, it's not gonna be that recognizable to the uh, you know most common eye. A judge like myself, yeah, I'm gonna pick up on it. And a matter of fact, they uh, when we took the uh, 66 Chevelle to MCACN show, and I had painted them um, uh, the uh, hood hinges zinc phosphate. They did. They didn't catch that. They called me out on it, and uh, took a point off for that. But uh, that was a car that was super super nice, and uh, judges were being ultra picky on it because you know all the gold standard cars should be uh, you know basically judged uh, all equally and made as original as possible. But like I like to call these kind of cars, uh, just a restification. We're not going uh, all out uh, nuts and bolts, frame off restoration. We're just trying to make the car look nicer and maybe uh, win at some local car shows. So there you go. That's, uh, that's your little tip from Meldrum's Monster Garage today. I, I got the biggest kick out of uh, seeing the Northern Ohio Chevelle Club pitcher. Uh, at the uh, Eastwood Company, and we're very fortunate to have a brick and mortar Eastwood Company here in Ohio. Most of this stuff you have to order online. And since I was there, they had they had sweatshirts uh, that were on sale for 16 bucks, so I picked up a sweatshirt too. So there you go. We're gonna do a little painting today, a little more shining, and uh, uh, work on the engine compartment a little more and get this uh, all set so we can put drop the engine down pretty darn quick. We're moving right along on this 72 Chevelle. Hey, since this video is kind of short, I thought I'd throw in a couple things extra uh, for our viewers. Kind of a flashback uh, to when we had the 1966 uh, Chevelle called the Bounty Hunter, SS Chevelle, and uh, we had a good time with that car. So. Why not bring back some of the videos that are kind of buried in my archives? So take a look. Hello, Northern Ohio Chevelle Club. It was a good weekend working on the Bounty Hunter. Uh, we got a lot done with the uh, restoration on this console. Got the uh, new clock in there and whatnot. Of course, the highlight of the weekend was having the uh, Meldrum boys out there working together. We had uh, Rick Meldrum, Charlie Meldrum come over and uh, put some final touches on the car. I did get a lot of other things uh, done on the car this weekend. We got the radiator in the car, got some hoses hooked up there, um, got the four-speed linkage adjusted. So we made some good progress. We're getting close to uh, starting the car up. Um, have to finish putting up some electrical uh, work on the car and then they uh, put the front end together. So I did get some uh, pieces painted on the front end too. So 
Uh, we're coming right along, but this weekend is all about featuring the Meldrum Brothers doing some uh, paint work on the car. Now I know you look at the car and it's an old paint job. That car was painted in the 70s, so that's why we figured, hey, why not uh, do some lettering on it, give it a nice patina look. Um, I don't know what we, the, we have in store for the future of the car. Could restore it back to original, or we could leave it like this. Not sure yet, but uh, we're definitely having fun for this thing as we uh, count down to the Cleveland Autorama. So here's some video we took uh, working out in the shop today. We're out here in Meldrum's Monster Garage, and now we got Charlie Meldrum working on the car, another fantastic artist in the Meldrum family. We got both Meldrums out working on the car today. The only person we're missing is Bob Lynch. So we, we wish he was here, but he's down in Florida, relaxing, retired. But his, uh, he has called in, my father-in-law has called in and, and uh, is very interested in this project. But uh, Nick, your name is going on the car. We are fixing some things that we thought the uh, previous artist should have done a little better. So it will be just a little, touch a little different here. And uh, there's your name kind of penciled in on there. And we got Rick working back here, getting Jack's name on the car. So Jack Poifair was the sponsor with his uh, SO station, home of the Tiger Gas. That's back in the day. But uh, we're coming along, coming down the home stretch on the lettering here. I had the boys help me get the hood on today, so we got the hood back on the car, and uh, we should have this thing fired up in no time. See ya! Here, here, here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're coming down to the nitty gritty here. Boop. Boop. <laughs> I, I'm told this, all this, sign makers is, make these sound this effects. That's how I got taught when I was looking. I put a little T here. Boop. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Oh, yeah, just look at it. Gotta thank the wife first. Thanks for giving me money for this, Patty. Even though you didn't know you gave me money for it. Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah. And Mr. Meldrum over here. I don't know if he has sound effects. But... No, he doesn't have much sound effects anymore. <laughs> He's the quiet type. Yeah, the left-handed quiet type. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think about that. I got left-hander and I got a right-hander on this job. Oh yeah. 